Hello, today we'll be talking about Flash Player and a couple of problems people tend to run into when dealing with Adobe Flash Player. Uh, one of the big ones is when you open a site and you see this gray box here. Sometimes it'll say missing plugin. Um, other times it's, it'll say click to use Flash like it does here. This is related to Adobe Flash Player. Due to security concerns, Apple has made Safari not very friendly with Adobe Flash Player and so you have to manually turn it on and in download and install it yourself. So the first thing to do when you see something like this is to check your Adobe Flash Player settings. So go to Safari and then your preferences. It'll be in your security tab. Right here, internet plugins. Go click on your plugin settings. And here in the first one you can see Adobe Flash Player. These are the websites that uh, have asked for permission to use Adobe Flash Player. And over here you can toggle on, off, or if it has to ask you every single time you visit that site. Down here you also have your default. When visiting other websites, you can default on, off, or ask. This was a recent change to Safari um, in hopes to make it more secure. And so clicking on in this case should do it. Close out of the preferences. And if I refresh the page, it should work just fine. And there we go, works just fine. Another thing, if you have a missing plugin, is you'll need to download and install Adobe Flash Player. And some people have problems, if you just search Adobe Flash Player, it's the first option there. People tend to have problems installing Adobe Flash Player because this button right here says install now, that's very deceiving. This actually only downloads an installer package um, that you then have to open, download some more content, and then it can install on your computer. So there's several steps to this in installing Adobe Flash Player. There we go, so that just downloaded. It's in my Downloads folder. I'll access it through this way. Open up Finder, your Downloads folder over here. And there it is, Adobe Flash Player. It will be a .dmg file that is um, that indicates a, an install disk. So go ahead and open that up. And so this is part two where you've already downloaded the installer package. Now you have to initiate that install package. So double click on this box that pops up. You'll get a box saying, hey, are you? do you really want to open this? Oh, of course you do. So click open and type in your password. And there we go. So now it's downloading additional content, like I was saying, and then it will proceed to install. So this is the process that you need to do to install Adobe Flash Player if it was either outdated or non-existent on your computer previously. And once this is done, and now that it's done, um, like it says, please restart your browser, you click finish, um, Safari, and quit out of Safari. You can do command Q as well. And there we go, it's fully quit out of. You can disconnect that installer disk image and then open up Safari and you should be good to go. It'll be installed fully up to date. Another thing to look at is your system preferences. You'll have Adobe Flash Player settings in there as well in that last row and you can actually check if you are up to date um, and uh, you can also set recommended settings etc. Um, so if you have Adobe Flash Player problems beyond what I just covered it'll be in these settings right here. Leave a comment below on other types of how-to videos you'd like to see on this channel and go ahead and subscribe for more Apple-related content. Thanks for watching. Talk to you in the next one.